We're here at Intellisys Conference in London, and I'm here with Will Serrano. He's a hi, char um. hi, hi. He's a chartered telecom system designer, and I have a question for you right away. When you go into this area and into the town of London, and you travel at around say six or eight in the morning, uh, the tubes are always completely crowded, too many people. How can your work help with that problem? Well, there are uh, several reasons about uh, crowding uh, in the transport network nowadays in London. Um, we are currently working, uh, expanding the capacity uh, yeah. by Crossrail 1, which it will be a brand new um, rail link between east and west of London. Uh, when the a new line, there's a new train yeah. line. Okay, yeah. When, when the... Uh, to optimize the mm. existing infrastructure, mm -hmm. uh, artificial intelligence can increase the throughput of trains mm -mm. by uh, reducing the distances between them, and as well reducing the distance between the trains. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I so see. to make yeah. to make so them, make um, them yeah, more. yeah, uh, by reducing the distance, mm -hmm. we can increase the th the throughput um, of the trains, sure. and as well, uh, artificial intelligence can guide passengers better through the station mm -hmm. so we can increase as well the throughput uh, through the gate lines as mm -hmm. well so there is a, a full range of applications that artificial intelligence can help yeah. to uh, help Londoners to commute faster to work and to enjoy as well the journey time rather than feeling overcrowded Yes, exactly. And you also work with airlines, uh, like uh, London Heathrow Airport? Yeah, we have done so, some work with uh, some airports. Um, my previous um, job with uh, Heathrow was the optimization of their baggage system. Oh, wow, so, yes. So, um, airports, they have three layers of complexity. Mm -hmm. So, railways, they have two, which is passengers and trains. Airports, they have passengers, planes, and baggage as well. Of course. So, baggage, it is a whole new area as well that it can be optimized. So, when we check in mm -hmm. and we go to the plane, mm -hmm. all that security screening for baggage can be optimized. Yeah. And it can be as well done by artificial intelligence, which uh, will mean that less operators will be uh, required to do th those tasks. Okay. As well. So, then there will be jobs lost again. <laughs> um, I see uh, artificial intelligence, rather than to take jobs mm -hmm. uh, from humans, they will do the jobs that they will be boring to a human. Mm -hmm. And if we manage to retrain, to add the skills to humans, mm -hmm. they can have new jobs. Yeah, so sure. for example, artificial there. intelligence, yeah. they need people to uh, expand, to install the software as well. Sure. Um, artificial intelligence need as well uh, physical infrastructure such as sensors, cabling, mm. uh, layouts of the layouts uh, around the airports and stations as, as well. Yeah. So um, it can take some jobs, but it can open uh, by far more. Yeah. Mm -mm, I see. So, but th you also told me before that you think that maybe even planes will fly themselves in a while. Um, I see um, artificial intelligence as, and we got we do have now a very good example, which are driverless cars. Yeah. So five years ago, perhaps we, as uh, society, we were very scared of artificial intelligence. The only one was a night rider. One back <laughs> when I was kit. kid. Yeah, yeah, kit. kid. Yeah. Now we now all wanted to have kit, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, now, now with the uh, Apple Watch plus driverless cars, they are just there. Yeah, yeah very true, close. Yeah. True. Um, so. Uh, I see that uh, when we start to lose uh, and accept artificial intelligence as a, um, as a safe uh, method mm -mm. to uh, be used in transportation, yes. uh, when we can see that driverless cars are successful, they are more uh, optimized, mm -hmm. they, they can free the driver's time as well. Um, so once that um, we manage to interact, and to live with uh, that uh, first stage, sure. I can see that the next evolution will be artificial intelligence for planes, for trains, and for <laughs> ships as well. Yeah, for ships. So yeah, sure. I see. I see that more. Uh, th that will make every more more efficient. Yeah, we, we can s we can use the same uh, physical space mm. more efficient, delivering more products, more passengers. Okay. So I, I believe you when you say I, I think that development will happen. But of course, everyone will say, how do you know that that is safe? Because one thing goes wrong and the plane goes down, you, you lose too many lives. So what in artificial intelligence do you still have to accomplish to be sure that it's safe? 
Uh, there are two, two, to me personally, there mm. are two ways mm. to rassure uh, citizens that artificial intelligence is safe. Mm. One, it is by gradually uh, introducing artificial intelligence into easier tasks and gradually become them complex, mm -hmm. such as first driverless cars and then increase yep. the complexity to planes. Um, as well, for people to be aware that uh, artificial intelligence it is already on planes, we do have automatic pilots. Yeah, plane. So the, uh, but there's always a human being next yeah, to there yeah. is there is always a human being. But now, for example, we can say, well, can you trust in a human being no. as well? <laughs> well, <laughs> well? No, you can't, not always. We no. can trust in some, in some others not. Es exactly, with uh, artificial intelligence, yeah. because it is pr program mm. uh, uh, following certain patterns, we can trust on artificial intelligence. I, uh, AI do have less mistakes as well than humans. Mm. So perhaps even a human being we try to do their best. Yeah, sure. If they fall asleep, perhaps, or they will have <laughs> other issues, yeah. we have a problem there as well. Yeah. So um, I True. see it as a gradual process, gradual adoption, um, like um, office communications mm -hmm. or like own communications now, True. like mobile phones Trial. and emails. Trial. So eventually, it will be gradually, yeah, we, will sure. we will incorporate more and more AI into transportation. Yes, and then transport will become easier and more efficient and we will travel faster and more pleasantly around yep. cities in the world. Yeah, exactly. Good. And it will reduce as well energy. Yeah, the CO2 it emissions will reduce because of that efficiency as also, well. Also, yeah. yeah. Well, good work. Okay, Keep thank you. Keep us the place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you. Thank, See, you. thank you. This was Will Serrano from the uh, Intellisys conference in London about artificial intelligence and all the benefits it can have. See you.